today we are going to discuss the topic derivatives of laplace transforms that is the laplace transform of a function multiplied by some t or t power n derivatives of transforms multiplication by t we know the laplace transform of a function f of t is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt this is equal to we can represent this as f of s if we want to find the laplace transform of t into f of t that is f of t is multiplied by t and we need to find the uh, Laplace transform of this uh, function. Now for that we can try to differentiate this f of s. We know Laplace transform of f of t equal to f of s. So if you are trying to differentiate f of s with respect to s, we get d by ds of f of s is nothing but l of l of f of t that is this integral integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt here the integrand is with respect to uh, integrand is e power minus st into f of t and the integral is with respect to t now we are going to differentiate this with respect to s so this can be written as integral 0 to infinity dou by dou s of that is partial derivative of this with respect to s e power minus st f of t dt so this is equal to finding the partial derivative of this with respect to t f of t is constant with respect to s and derivative of e power minus st with respect to s is e power for a minus t into e power minus st dt this is nothing but taking negative outside we get integral 0 to infinity e power minus st t into f of t this is actually active of laplace transform of t into f of t therefore we have l of t into f of t is equal to negative of d by ds of f of s so we have this formula if L of f of t is equal to f of s, then L of t into f of t equal to minus d by ds of f of s. So applying this again, we get here we have L of t into f of t equal to minus d by ds of f of s. Now, therefore, L of t square into f of t. If you are multiplying f of t with the t square, then we get this is can this can be written as l of t into t into f of t okay so we can apply this here we have l of t into f of t equal to minus d by ds of f of s where f of s is the uh, laplace transform of f of t so this is nothing but by using this we get minus d by ds of f of s for f of s is l of t into f of t because here f of t is replaced by t into f of t so applying this this is equal to minus d by ds of now we already know l of t into f of t is nothing but negative of t by ds of f of s we can apply again that is negative d by ds of f of s So this is nothing but d square by d s square of f of s. So simply we have if l of f of t is equal to f of s then l of t into f of t is equal to minus d by d s of this f of s 
then L of t square into f of t is equal to positive d square by d s square of f of s then applying once again we get L of t cube into f of t is nothing but negative d cube divided by d s cube of f of s and so on okay so this is the multiplication of f of t by t now generalizing this result we have a theorem derivative of transforms derivative of transforms if f of s is equal to l of f of t and n equal to 1 2 3 etc then we have l of t power n into f of t and f of t is multiplied by t power n then the, then its laplace transform will be minus 1 to the power n d n divided by d s power n of f of s to find the derivative of t power n into f of t we have to multiply we have to differentiate our laplace transform f of s n times and then we have to apply this so so these are the particular cases of uh, this if n equal to 1 we have t into f of t laplace transform of t into f of t equal to minus 1 power 1 that is negative of b by ds of this if t equal to 2 we get t squared f of t and this is minus 1 power 2 that is positive 1 so d square divided by ds square of f of s etc so this is the uh, theorem derivatives of lab uh, transforms that is here actually we differentiated the laplace transforms okay that is the derivative of uh, transforms or we multiplied uh, the f of t uh, with t or t power n and uh, finding the Laplace transform. For example, find L of t into sin a t. Here we can uh, replace f of t by sin a t. Let f of t equal to sin a t. Then we have f of s is equal to L of sin a t that is equal to a by a square plus a square therefore l of t into sin a t is equal to l of t into f of t we know l of t into f of t is negative d by ds of f of s that is nothing but negative d by ds of f of s is a by a square plus a square so we, have, we need to differentiate this that is negative of this is actually uh, minus a by a square plus a square whole square into derivative of a square plus a square with respect to s that is 2 s so this is equal to 2 a s divided by a square plus a square whole square so we can just uh, find the uh, Laplace transform of t into cos 3t t into uh, l of t square into sin 2t etc another example evaluate l of t into e power 4t we can do this problem uh, in two ways first is uh, take f of t equal to e power 40 first take f of t equal to e power 40 therefore f of s is equal to laplace transform of e power 40 that is 1 by s minus 4 clear laplace transform of e power 40 therefore l of t into e power 40 is nothing but l of t into f of t this is equal to by previous theorem we have this is minus 
d by ds of f of s where f of s is 1 by s minus 4 that is minus d by ds of 1 by s minus 4 this is equal to minus minus 1 by s minus 4 whole square this is equal to 1 by s minus 4 whole square this is the first method method 1 now same question can be done using the another method uh, it is by using first shifting theorem we know first translation theorem or first shifting theorem we have to find l of t into e power 40 we know first shifting theorem is if l of f of t is equal to f of s then l of e power a t into f of t is equal to f of s minus a this is the first translation theorem or first shifting theorem so we can use that to find this we have l of t equal to 1 by s square therefore l of e power 40 into t that is uh, multiplying e t by e power 40 that is we can use this first shifting theorem or first translation theorem this is nothing but 1 by f of s minus a f of s is 1 by s square so f of s minus a is equal to 1 by s minus 4 whole square here a equal to 4 so in both these ways we can do this problem so you just try l of t cube e power minus 3t l of t square e power 100t etc next example solve x double dash plus 16x equal to cos 40 with x of 0 equal 0 x dash of 0 equal to 1 so we are given an initial value problem second order initial value problem so to solve this we can use laplace transform we already know that for that applying laplace transform here we get l of x double dash plus 16 to l of x equal to l of cos 40 that is l of x double dash is s square into l of x minus s into x of 0 minus x dash of 0 this is laplace transform of x double dash here we have t is the independent variable and x is the dependent variable now here plus 16 into l of x equal to laplace transform of cos 40 that is s divided by s square plus 4 square so we have this is a square into l of x minus s into x of 0 is 0 minus x dash of 0 is 1 plus 16 into l of x equal to s divided by s square plus 16 so taking l of s outside we get l of x into s square plus 16 is equal to s by s square plus 16 plus 1 here so we have l of x is equal to our aim is to find x in terms of t so l of x is equal to s by s square plus 16 into x square plus 16 that is s square plus 16 whole square plus 1 by a square plus 16 so from previous example we obtain that this l of t sin a t is equal to 2 a s divided by a square plus a square whole square so here l of t sin a t is equal to 2 a s divided by s square plus a square whole square this is what is we obtain from that problem so here we have we can just use here this is nothing but x is e x equal to l inverse of this plus l inverse of this 
L inverse of S divided by S square plus 16 whole square plus L inverse of 1 by S square plus 16. So this is equal to using this we have here is S by S square plus S square whole square. Here uh, A can be written as 4 so 4 square whole square. So A equal to 4. So here we have 2 into uh, 4 that is 8. Here we have 8 here. So L inverse of 8 S divided by S square plus 4 square whole square. That is 1 by 8 into L inverse of this is multiplied and divided by 8 and L inverse of this we know uh, this is nothing but uh, multiplying and dividing by 4 we get 4 into L inverse of 4 sorry 1 by 4 into L inverse of 4 divided by a square plus 16 or 4 square so this is equal to from this we get 1 by 8 into L inverse of uh, L inverse of L of t sin t equal to a s divided by a square plus a square whole square. So L inverse of this is equal to t sin t. So L inverse of here a equal to 4. So this is nothing but uh, t sin 40. Here a equal to 4 plus 1 by 4 into t L inverse of 4 by a square plus 16 is nothing but sin 40. So we have 1 by 4 sin 40 plus 1 by 8 t sin 40 as the solution. This is our x of t.